Aloha Hawaii. This is Pokalai Nui, and you are listening to Hawaiian Potpourri. We are produced by the Hawaiian National Broadcast Corporation, and of course, the opinions expressed in this program are not necessarily those of the staff and management of this radio station or of the Hawaiian National Broadcast Corporation. Welcome to Hawaiian Potpourri. We have all three lines uh, being used right now, so if you're calling and it's busy, it's because we, we do have all three lines used. Our telephone number here is 524-1080. Let's go to our next Next caller, Aloha caller, welcome to the program. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. I'd like to comment about the last caller about these uh, electricians and carpenters, uh, you know, we'll find another job or another uh, type of work. Yes. These people have been trained all their lives. They mm. went to school and they, they, they trained to be electricians or masons or uh, carpenters, whatever, and... Uh, 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 you you don't think that uh, should be going out try something go be a doctor a lawyer or go back to school again? Uh, no, I think uh, uh, they need these jobs. Uh, whether it's building condominiums mm. or the rail, uh, mm-hmm. uh, they need to be employed uh, in their trades, their tradesmen, and to <laughs> suggest that. We'll find another type of work. Mm-hmm. I think that's ridiculous uh, for them to go start all over again. You see, uh, as far as the rail goes, uh, my opinion is, uh, you know, I'm Kekoka, you know, and uh, unfortunately, the rail was stopped by Remancho, yeah. mm-hmm. and. Uh, Are you still on? Yeah, I'm still here. Oh, oh, oh okay, okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, and uh, if it was built back then, it would have gone from Hawaii Kai to the Waianae area mm-hmm. and the University of Hawaii. And mm-hmm. I'm sure it would have been highly used by people. Uh, what, what is your evidence? Like, what is the basis of your conclusion that it would have been highly used? Well, uh, I live in Beville Beach now, if, and my office was near Queen Emma Street. Mm-hmm. Now, if the rail was built, I would have put a park by car in the park at Ride, which would be off Fort Weaver Road. I would have rode every day of the rail, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, I would save hundreds of miles and thousands, mm-hmm. hundreds of gallons of gasoline by riding the rail every day. I would take my car only if I had a special occasion to go shopping after or uh, whatever. But, You're in the Ever Beach side. That's yeah. where you live. Well, they had this, uh, what is that, the uh, boat. Uh, instead of the bus, the boat. You could take the bus to the boat and then go over to essentially by uh, the, where was that, one of these uh, harbors, uh, Aloha Tower area or someplace. How, how often did you catch a boat? Yeah, I went on the boat, but you know, I get seasick. So I see, I see. But, but uh, you, the the fact was that the boat was put into operation, but uh, people were still not willing to leave their cars, and so they had to terminate that. I thought it was a great idea, you know, very effective, but that fell through as well. So I don't know about this your predictability or your prediction that uh, it would have been a success and many people would have uh, been riding the rail at this time. Well, I'm just. Just from my individual point, but mm. I figured out the mileage I would have been, would, uh, you know, yeah. uh, 40 miles a day, uh, and now it's $4 a gallon. When you, mm. when you mm-hmm. pencil that out, mm-hmm. you, you're spending hundreds of dollars, and uh, yeah. you put in miles on your car, which mm. uh, lowers its depreciation and so on, you know, tires yeah. and yeah. Uh, whatever. Yeah, uh, and on top of that, they don't fix the road so that you keep ruining your car. Uh, the roads uh, are another thing. You know, they're working, yeah. they, they repeat Fort Weaver Road. Fort Weaver Road is a nice road as it is. Yeah. But I cannot, there were no potholes. And I don't understand and they're why they're it. repaving it. <laughs> yeah, you should drive through Pearl City, the back road in Pearl City. The worst road in all of Hawaii is right there. Uh, and the camp highway right by Drew Point, Pearl Harbor. 
Oh, that's a, another bad road? That's been that way for 20 years yeah. on the side yeah. and right at the intersection. Yeah. They taped it once, but it fell apart uh, yeah. shortly after. Okay. Hey, uh, we, I we, used to work in an office on Cam Highway. And I see. It was like a third world country road. Like, I don't know why they were paving <laughs> Fort Weaver Road. It's such a nice road. And because that's where the population and the voters are. Uh, no, the voters aren't here. We have we have crazy uh, politicians here like Tom Berg and uh, <laughs> Kimberly Pine. <laughs> I don't think they have. I don't think they influence Department of Transportation. Well, it's interesting. It's interesting that you have those two <laughs> of all of Hawaii both located in your area. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But well, without I any think. further comment on that, we do have two other callers. Uh, okay, uh, is there any well, concluding that's, that's remark? My comment okay. That, uh, uh, if they don't build a rail uh, 20 years from now, mm. uh, this this place is even going to be more of a mess okay. than it is. And you'll be hooking up uh, West UH and with mm. Manoa UH, and students can yeah. take the rail and, and exchange classes uh, by just hopping on the rail. Uh, or go play baseball or football if okay. they live in the area. Okay. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, you got some callers. Yeah, thanks for your call. Aloha. And uh, let me make a brief comment and then we'll go to the next caller in line. Uh, I disagree with this last caller about the trainability of people. And oftentimes, people who don't want to get retrained will say, oh, we cannot be trained. We've been trained. We've been doing this job for the last 30, 40 years. Listen to the agricultural workers when sugar and pineapple closed down. They, if they wanted to survive, they had to be trained. They were retrained. And there was an effort, both by the government and by private industries, to address the retraining needs. When new industries come in, people are trained to meet those industries. One should not have a right to do their work if there is no demand for it. A person who is trained as a nuclear physicist does not have a right to go and make nuclear weapons because that's what his training is. If the society says, we slap your hands if you do that, you better train, be a baker, be a dentist, be something else, then you just got to go along with it or no more job. And that is part of the realities that everyone else has had to face. Why should it be special for the Kiewit workers. Secondly, Kiewit has a history of always importing their workers. They have no dedication to local workers unless it will advance their politics, unless it will advance their business. They have no loyalty to Hawaii workers until they want to use them as pawns in an argument. Okay, let's go to our next caller. Aloha caller, welcome to the program. Hi, aloha. Hi, aloha. Hi, aloha. Hi, first of all, are you getting any buzz from me? No. On my phone line? Not at all. Not from your phone line. From okay. your personality and your, your radiant... Well, that's, that's <laughs> your radiant <laughs> personality. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that's outrageous, huh? Uh, I just wanted to, uh, uh, as a call of previous, uh, the last call I was talking about being mm -hmm. trained, yeah? Mm-hmm. Uh, I was trained to kill people in the army, yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. But you can't do that outside in the civilian world. You go to jail, mm -hmm. you do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, mm -hmm. uh, and then brother before that was talking about this, uh, about this uh, legislation of uh, exemptions, yeah? Yes, yes, environmental uh, exemptions. That legislation has already been passed. It was passed. Uh, basically, almost like an executive order. Yeah, I did. I didn't know that mm. the governors have executive powers like uh, the president. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it is known as Act 95. I see. Okay. Uh, it's Public Lands Development Corporation, uh, which exempts all EPA, all county ordinances, public hearings, neighborhood boards, anything. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a project, and that comes under the famous uh, 
Hawaii Community Development Authority. I see. Which was created in the late 70s for the Kaka'aku mm-hmm. area, mm-hmm. which is from uh, Ward Avenue. There's a boundary. Yeah? They conveniently, to, to make the people, not, you know, not to scare the people, they give them a boundary. Yeah? Uh, it is from Ka, from uh, Ward Avenue over to P.E. Koi. Yeah? I see. That is that area, that, that authority. Yes. So with this Act 95, that authority is expanded throughout the state of Hawaii. Is that right? Yeah. You know? hmm. hmm. Okay. And, uh, you know, people don't understand what is before us. And you mentioned about Kiwit uh, just recent, just yeah. a while ago. Mm-hmm. And uh, these people, uh, you know, they're talking about uh, thousands of jobs, 10,000 jobs, and uh, at the highest, going to be 17,000 jobs. That's a big sham. Most of these people basically are, are specialists because uh, hmm. uh, Hawaii's uh, labor uh, pool does not have the experience of building these types of structures. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's not like building one high rise. They think because they built a forty-story high rise, mm-hmm. they can build these elevated platforms and what have you. Huh? Uh, these things are. Uh, the closest thing to it, basically, which basically I, I, I admire insofar as uh, uh, engineering, is uh, the H tree on the slopes of uh, the coal house. I see. Uh-huh. You know, it's uh-huh. it's a fantastic, uh, mm. you know, a construction feat. Mm-hmm. But uh, the jobs in itself probably about three to four hundred at the most of local, and that's only for a short period of time. Yeah. You get 10 years of work, yeah, mm-hmm. but you have 40 years, yeah, of nightmare, okay, which is at this point right now, right at this very moment, Poka, it is at $5,500 per person. Those who are here with us today, you and I and your listening audience, uh-huh. our children, our grandchildren, and those who have not been born yet, the moment you born into this world, you will owe $5,500 that's, and, and counting. And that is because of the real project or the total debt? That is the total debt, yeah? Oh, okay. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Right at this point. Yeah. The... the uh, it is very similar to uh, to the debt of the United States of America. This, in addition, yeah, fifty five hundred in addition so you, to the debt, which you're speaking, is somewhere about thirteen, fourteen thousand per person. You are speaking of this fifty five hundred is just a Hawaii debt. O- Oahu taxpayers. Oahu taxpayers. Okay. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> they never even touch outside islands yet. Wow. Okay. So, and these are facts and figures that uh, that uh, uh, Governor uh, Ben Cayetano has presented. I heard it before he even announced that mm. he was going to run mm. mm-hmm. uh, from a team that came in, a five-man dream team of transportation. Yeah, mass mm. transit. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. came here, was brought in uh, by Council uh, Councilman uh, Tom Berg. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they did their presentations, which I attended. And so it's a, it's just a, it's a it's a big scam. Yeah, I'll and the really thing, yeah, the people have got to understand this. Basically, uh, we don't have any options. We have we have we have one option, yeah. And uh, because we're we're playing against a stacked deck, yeah. The odds against uh, the people of uh, sanity, yeah, is even is worse. Mm. than uh, anything that's in Las Vegas, yeah? It's a loaded deck. But we do have one ace, yeah? Mm-hmm. And that ace is Ben Caetano, who has, came, who has come forward to run. <laughs> that was interesting. You know? <laughs> yeah. We cannot rely on Boca. Uh. Everything is stacked. The planning commissions mm. stacked. Mm-hmm. PUC, I mean, uh, uh, land utilization people, yeah? Oh, uh, yeah. I've gone to their meetings. Mm. Okay. The legislature is stacked. This guy Donovan is their stooge. Hmm. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, the council, the majority of the council, six members, five of which are new. Okay, when you come on, when you come and take take office, yeah, you don't you don't end up being a rubber stamp right away, especially something like this mm. this project. Mm-hmm. You go and listen to them. Okay, Palipo, and the direction that they're getting from the council leader. Yeah, Palipo, I'm going to have to uh, okay, brother. Uh, bring you short. We, we have another caller, and uh, time is uh, getting short. So thanks all for right, your call brother. and all that important information. Aloha. Okay, Take care. Hi, aloha. And, <clears throat> and uh, let's go to our last caller, and uh, okay, and we'll conclude after that. Aloha, caller. Hi, Paul, uh, hi, hi. Um, and, um, not um, quite on this subject, but uh, the other stuff you were talking about, uh, about the idea of the, um, um, the, the way <laughs> the elitist type of um, mm. language and like, uh, I've got my PhD and yeah, I, the, I've the, got my, and um, you guys don't know what you're talking about. And, and I, <laughs> I hear that all the time here at, 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 at the shelter, the, 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 uh, the, the social workers, yeah. um, the the, the staff people um, they, they say well you know we know we know what's good for you mm, we know mm-hmm, exactly what's mm-hmm. good for you because we we are we are um, professionals we are <laughs> look we at our degrees, degrees. And that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, yeah. but uh, I go back and I say wait a minute you know what's good for us you're not living our lives you're not even in this place uh, um, uh, living in here mm-hmm. you're working in here and you and, and um, how many of you folks have experienced um, long periods of homelessness, or just you know, homelessness. Mm, and uh, mm-hmm. there, there was about one or two of the staff that had short periods of homelessness. Yeah. But mo- most of them don't, don't have any experience. So they're, they're coming from an academic point of view, mm-hmm. but they're not mm-hmm. coming from a, 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 a practical point of view. And, 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 and understanding the problems and the lies that got... And, you know, you, you, you kind of feel that, that elitist, Feeling yeah. next door, you know, with the John A. Burns School of Medicine. Mm, mm-hmm. That place is, I can't believe that. Um, well, you know, they used to have that tent city along there. Right. And, um, yeah, especially the Micronesians, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that is starting to uh, sprout up again. Um, mm-hmm. um, but what w- w- um, they, they've done um, is, is um, they've closed down the restroom for, I mean, they have a sign. Um, uh, uh, if you don't have business uh, with the John A. Medicine. Yeah, I mean, you cannot use our restroom, and um, I, well, a number of times I've gone there, and I, uh, the nature called, and I had to, we had to leave there, and right. so I had to go up there, and the security guard says, "Oh, you can't go in there. You, you're not. Well, you mm. have business." I, I said, I, "I, I have good business here. I, gotta, <laughs> <laughs> I have to relieve myself, you know. <laughs> and if that's not good business, I don't know what is, you know." <laughs> and um, and, um. Uh, I, I, I'm still trying to get to the the the, the head honcho there, the college, and say, "Hey, this is not right. This is a public yeah. um, university. It's like up in the Manoa or the community colleges or anything else. Mm. Why? Why do you guys can cut off? And you know, they, they do have their cafeteria there, and they they yeah. um, they open that to the public, but." Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, but yeah, in, in essence, the, the whole uh, teaching is to provide human services in the medical field. And they have sort of uh, shielded themselves from the truth of humanity by even cutting off their toilets and saying only us elitists can defecate and urinate well, in, in yeah. these small <laughs> houses that we are creating. Yeah. And then they complain why the, the people are defecating along the side of the road yeah. and that kind of stuff. Yeah. So that, that's what it gives to me. But, but there's nothing left there for people to use. Mm-hmm. And, you know, well, here's another thing. We, we, we have the, these students that come here every Thursday from the John A. Bird School of Medicine, too. And they, um, they, they, they um, uh, do um, take our blood pressure and mm-hmm. ask us questions and that. Because it's well, kind of a steady thing for them, but with, with their doctors, supervisors, teachers, yeah. professors, and that kind of stuff. And uh, there, yeah, okay, there was a time when I had to, I needed uh, um, some gauze. Well, gauze can get a little expensive, you know, for us yeah. folks are right. down here. So, so I was trying to get them to uh, uh, get, um, uh, give them some to me, and mm-hmm. I, I, they said, "Oh well," uh, they gave me two or three little packages and. 
I said, wait a minute, I, I, this is about a day's worth of what I need, you know? Mm. And they said, well, we, we can't, uh, we, we, we have to have, use, have it for everybody else, blah, blah, blah. I said, no. wait a minute, you know, I, half, over half of us, the reason we're in here is because we got medical um, conditions that, mm. that, uh, that, that, that were caused partly because we were homeless or, or it was the cause of our homelessness. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and, and it, it's just the, the, the there again, and, uh, hey, well, I've had a number of little lectures with some of these students. Yeah, okay. You know, you guys got to remember, you, you, you're talking about, yeah, right, you, you're talking about human beings. Okay. People have feelings and everything else. Dave, I, I have one more caller, and I okay. have less than five minutes. Thanks sure. for your call and, and for your experience. Sure. I Take care. You. Thank you. Aloha. Aloha. And we go to our last caller. Aloha caller, welcome to the program. Yeah, Poka. Yeah, I, you know, I disagree with a couple of callers ago. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what world he's staying in, but he said something about he got seasick, you know, riding the ferries. <laughs> yes. But, but you, you know, the thing is, um, when the city ferries went down, mm. uh, it was a pilot project, yeah? Mm -hmm. So um, yeah. the city didn't pay that much money, but... Uh, after the, uh, they, they put away the city ferry, uh, they didn't use the super ferry because the super ferry didn't work out with the neighbor islands. They right, didn't get, you know, right. passengers. So uh -huh. um, they replaced the city ferries with the super ferry, and the super ferry is like a more of a stable boat, so nobody mm. could get seasick. Mm -hmm. So there was no excuse of getting seasick when you ride the <laughs> super ferry. Okay. So, so my question was... Um, uh, even though they replaced it with a super ferry, nobody mm. rode the super ferry. Yeah. So, you know, if traffic was so heavy, why didn't people ride the super ferry? Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, that, that, that's the thing. You know, uh, this uh, argument um, I, I wanted to address, uh, address mm. uh, you know, when it comes down to the rail, how many people are going to ride the rail? Yeah. And, you know, with the whole situation with the west side with UH West Oahu. Mm. You know, being built in Kapolei, you're not going to have too many UH Mono students traveling into town and all the other stuff. So, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> I really don't know where the, um, the callers are going with that. Yeah, the factual basis. For it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> thanks for your call. That's very interesting. Yeah, but I also want to address the bill. That well, I'm sorry, no time, no oh, time. No time. I got to okay. run out of here and other people need to rush in. Okay. But thanks for your call. That was uh, very informative. Take care. Take care. Aloha. Oh, oh, oh. 